thinking about what's his name from uh, the Atlantic or whatever. Je- uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Tubin. Jeffrey uh, Tubin. <laughs> Tubin. Oh, it's time to show Hawk. It's time to see some Hawk. Good to know. Oh, wow. You guys aren't going to see me? Okay, I've got a little date here real quick. Uh, the me. video the video <laughs> came back on at an inopportune time. Uh, uh, the, I thought the, I was... Okay. You know, the, the, be- the best part about that is the fact that he got to come back, but before he could, he had to have his colleagues uh, ask the real important questions like, what were you thinking? What the fuck was he thinking? Do your nobody balls was hang looking. low? He was thinking nobody was looking or, or he was, or he was thr- like, I don't think he yeah. was thrilled by people watching. I think he really thought nobody was looking and he doesn't know about technology. And, but yeah. it's also, you got to turn, if That's, you're going to take a pee pee or a poo poo or jerk off, you need to turn the computer around. You, you can't, you know. You can't just one, be. One, two, three, I believe is Jeremy, the, num- the numbers Jeremy taught those. me this a long time ago. Jeremy taught me a secret a long time ago, and it's very easy. It's the easiest thing you can do. It's a post-it note, and you mm-hmm. put the post-it note over like this. Mm-hmm. Boop, boop. Look, now you can't see me. Mm-hmm. I put a yeah, post-it note on my, pel- you can't see on my Peloton, and it, it says right. it'll have an inspiring uh, phrase on it, like, you can do it. Or sometimes it just says, mm. fuck this. But, and that way, because I don't want anybody to see me. I don't want to be friends with anybody on Peloton. I don't want them to see me it's sweating. Weird, right? Get out of here. No. Do you not watch climb me. the leaderboards on Peloton? I hide yeah, that's the not leaderboard something. and I pay. Uh, I pay that, s- no, dude. You, well, you, you. <laughs> Se- seems crazy. Sarah has a Peloton, and I have one of these things called a water rower, which doesn't have any of that fun stuff. You have to make all that stuff up in your head. It's like going back to like the old school video game, you, like Pog. You have to put five gallons like, in it if you, you know, want my, to work my dad, out. My dad, used, my dad used to tell me, he was like, oh, yeah, no, you know, it's just the same thing. So we used to have to take, you know, uh, parchment paper and put little things on either side so when we were playing Pog back and forth you could try to miss things here I'm like but dad wouldn't it just go through the screen back and forth he's like yeah it sucked it <laughs> <laughs> wasn't fun to do <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, why were you doing it, Dad? He's like, it was the '70s, and it was a computer. We didn't have shit to do. Game system. <laughs> we didn't know any better. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I had. Do you know what it was? I wasn't into coke. I wasn't into cocaine. Okay, I wanted to play video games. <laughs> I had the Peloton in storage for many, many months because I I lived in California when I got the Peloton for zero dollars down, zero percent APR, sixty three dollars a month for the rest of my life. And life. So I'm I've been paying it off for <laughs> for a year and a half now, and it'll be another five years. But I put it in storage, and I moved east for what I thought was a temporary move. Rented a, a furnished condo to be closer to my family in Jersey. And then I decided that I wanted to, well, I saw that it was possible for the only time in my life for approximately four weeks for me to put in an offer on a home in New York City in, in Brooklyn. So I did. Pressure. And yeah, if I had put in an offer uh, a month later, I, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened. Um, and mm-hmm. so I was able to, through the grace of God and capitalism, make it happen. And I said, well, I guess I got to get that stuff from California here to Brooklyn, New York City. And uh, so she sent for the bike. I sent for the bike and the moving people said, uh, uh, first, the, the movers at first said, yeah, we'll move the stuff cross country. And then they changed their mind two weeks before they were supposed to move it. They were like, no, it just oh. feels like it would be really stressful right now. And I was like, yeah. So they, they left it in Oklahoma City <laughs> and you were stuck. I got, I got to, other people. Uh, shout out to Oz, to, the Wizard of Oz. Ooh, okay. Moving people. They brought it. Heard of okay. them. They brought it. And mm-hmm. so I got back on the old gal. And let me tell you something. My... But and perineum, which is the taint part of my person, uh, really said, wow. They said, wow, Sarah. Welcome back. They said, welcome. Mm-hmm. They sang the Welcome Back Cotter theme song. And I said, Stop. reunited. <laughs> and it feels so <laughs> good. That felt terrible. Oh, are you singing? Are you singing through the taint? Dan? Yeah. That's pretty good. There was an effect there. Yes. I, un- I, under- I understand. 
I understand that feeling, but it's mostly it's like the bottom of my the boniest part of my ass and my balls getting crunched between my thighs while I'm doing this water rower that I hadn't done in a month because I thought that I uh, pulled a muscle or something and I took time off and I was like, I can get back on this 15 minutes, 3K. I got this. Mm-mm. Daddy don't got that. <laughs> Well, like, why do? <laughs> Anywho, I just wanted I just wanted to commiserate no, I... with you. No, I mean I got it. They're still there, but it's just it's one of those things where the it's the the pressure system is not cool. Like I need to I need to be rowing in a different position. They have to give you this tiny seat. Why do they? Not everybody. I was going to say, can't you butt, just go on the you river? Know? Can you get a, a little wider? Can you get a please. swan boat rower or one of a those swan things boat like the duck? Rower. You could go to yeah, Central Park and steal could. a swan boat <laughs> and take and it around that into like, a a, like some kind of retain, retention pond yeah. in a public park. <laughs> I like that idea. It's an, an installation. Do you know how many – do you understand how many kids I've knocked down getting to that swan boat in Prospect Park? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I've, I, before I was a dad, I was really knocking kids around. <laughs> And now as a dad, I'm still knocking them around. But now I get to be like, hey, he was trying to hit my son. Wow. You, you can't do that. that. You can do that have all the that time. In your tape pocket. Yeah. That, you just have it like. <laughs> woof. Ready to I go? Just write him. Yeah. I have a I have a I have a, six, I have a six pocket in my jeans and it's by my tape and it doesn't <laughs> hold anything. It's very difficult to carry. It holds anything barely there. anything at all. Mm. I hold the only thing I keep in there. The, the only thing I keep in there is my lucky bison Daniel quarter <laughs> that everybody has that, you know, you're like, oh, everybody's got. I a have a few. If anybody quarter. doesn't, I have cool. a few. Yeah. But I see one. And every time I'm like, I'm never spending I never this am. because it's a bison no, yeah. quarter. It's, it's older than me. Spend it. Yeah. But it's hard to find those sesquicentennial ones. Those are the I ones you want. I don't think you need any of them. No, I don't Why think do the country has existed that long, buddy. I don't know. Yeah. I really want oh, yeah, one of those has. quarters. Yeah, what, a sesquicentennial? Have, yeah. Of course. I don't know. I, I never. Yeah. Sarah, I, I would be I so overjoyed. You live in Brooklyn. Yeah. We'll find a place no, I have, to meet I up. have one, and I also have video. Okay. I also I am mean, on I camera. Hope, this I, is a liar. Joy. This I is a faceless this liar who's to talking to Oh, gosh. I see a cardinal out the window. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to meet up with I want to meet up with Danny. I want there to be like a, a location we agree on, and Danny and I walk very slowly towards one another with making full eye contact with no facial expression, totally blank, and then when we mm -hmm. get to each other, we each look away and stare into the middle distance while he hands me the quarter and then we stay like one beat too long so that people look and then we keep going we never just speak. keep moving yeah like that <laughs> yep i suggest the malls the mall on ocean parkway uh, the, the, the world's the, uh, first the first uh bicycle the first bicycle yeah, it's a good one. You know, trail it's, in what's the, the uh, <laughs> what's her name maria yes. uh, maria abramovich you guys know who maria abramovich yes. is the visual artist. So this is, this is, I just made me think of this. Not, not that, not that we dated in the past and came together, but her and her longtime lover met in the middle of the Chinese wall, said their goodbyes and then passed each other and continued on to the other <laughs> end so of the wall. What walls are we talking about? What, what, what walls are we talking about? That's fucking crazy. The Great Wall of China. China. Great, beautiful. China. The Great Wall of China. They 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 went they start they started on the Great Wall of China on either side and they walked to the middle met up and said this has been fun but we have to end it love you kisses I'll and never going, sending you a postcard me neither and then they left and they walked then they they just kept going and they went to the other end <laughs> uh, ends of the Great Wall I mean give me a break this is also a lady who thought visual art was like putting a bunch of saws face up as a ladder to climb up of on to get onto some I don't know whatever she was doing at the moment there's no so. oh she I was, was also say, staring there's... at people that was another thing she did I think that's how I know about this because the same dude cry no the same dude who did that when she was sitting across from people just staring at them 
he popped in and that was like the first time they seen each other since they passed each other on the great wall. <laughs> anyway, it's a great story. So I remember that watching the video of that gentleman, Marina Abramo with, she, uh, yes. she's great. Uh, what she does, uh, which I, is the staring and it's very haunting, <laughs> which is being present, <laughs> being present being, and sort what, of that's like what she does. slim and beautiful and very, and, and raven haired, if I recall correctly. And this dude, at least they set it up like it was a surprise. This dude came back for stare town, love, lust part do, and just like, rolled up into her performance art situation oh. and then there's video of them both staring at each other until weeping occurs and I'm watching this and I'm like these two people fucking love a show mm-hmm. like there was not room in the relationship for both of them <laughs> they, there was that they need each one of them they're both clearly alphas each one needs a you're baby saying, you're saying this was a you're saying this was a reunion in her installation yes, like post post oh, wow. great wall of China <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! I got you. Oh, no, yes. I think I think I've seen a little yes, clip. Yes, yes, yes. It's hauntingly yeah, beautiful, real, but I was like, thing. I found it very emotionally uh, moving, but at the same time, was uh, like, uh, each of them was so hard to date. Uh, they could never be in the same. They couldn't be together for too long. They each one of these people needs somebody <laughs> else to take care of them or something. Like this is too much. <laughs> Get a room. What kind Just of room? a large, I don't know, one large of those room? Psychiatric long, rooms oh, that you're have really to, soft stuff. You're trying over to say a rubber, a rubber room. Shit might go down. A rubber room. <laughs> I actually saw her once going into an elevator. I was coming out and she was coming in and we made eye contact. And I was like, that's you. And she, the, I, the, totally out of character. She just kind of gave that. me like a, yeah, you know, it's me. Smile. I love a and celebrity like a point, head nod. And then the doors mm. closed. So I was like, all right. That was at 180, <laughs> that, 180 Varick Street. Yeah, it's a good celebrity. It was a good celebrity head nod, but I feel like she must have seen me because, and I was just like, uh, well, the wheels going, like well, I know who you are. So She's you like, got yeah, the yeah, f- yeah, you do. So, yeah. <laughs> you got the Doors free show without having to again. pay admission to the museum. That's fucking great. Well, yeah, you got best good of both for you. Worlds. You won. You won. You won the breakup. That's true. That's true. That is true. <laughs> yeah, I got to watch out. These two have history. <laughs> <laughs> you and Marina have history now. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> there's got to be there has to be an emperor's new an emperor's new clothes limit on some on some uh some installation art i'm a little skeptical occasionally mm-hmm. but i haven't found it yet i think uh was it was a marina bramovich who did the installation with all the shoes she did a lot of people's dead people's shoes of people who had died in Eastern Europe, maybe. I, I think you're thinking of the else. United States Holocaust Memorial Museum sure. in Washington, D.C. No, there's, an- yeah. there's, no, 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 there's, there's another, another one, there's like, another much, one, much, like, like, much, much, yeah, much haunting. more recent. Uh-huh. Much more oh, recent. Oh, recent. They, they do oh, the well, same first thing of all, they're writing, the, yeah. the, 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 they're writing somebody's style. That's a, I would oh. say you're plagiarizing do, the Holocaust Museum. Thank you. That's an homage. It's an art, an homage. Or it's just... Parallel thinking. We're all swimming in the same cultural soup. Yikes. Or that, I guess me saying that to somebody in, in all seriousness, me saying that would be like me saying, well, guess, you know what? Picasso already put paint on canvas, so you can't do that. <laughs> like mm. you get to you we get True. to use different media, right? Like that's really um and shoes and Ooh. articles of clothing are so symbolic and 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 they carry so much. Personal. Media. They're very yes. personal. So it's yeah. hauntingly beautiful. Sure. So mm. you know what? Shame on me for going to a joke place about something closing, beautiful closing your mind you know, off closing my mind off or yeah. well no no you don't have to be it's not it's not shameful it's not shameful because i went to i went to that moma art installation with all of her stuff and one of the things was you okay. had to walk in this- between two naked people and i was like i'm gonna do it I'm going to walk through the two naked people and, you know, she chose someone that, you know, well endowed and, you know, it was, it was a, it was a moment of, and they Being don't nude, move, they're right. just standing there kind of looking at you. And I was, you know, I don't know how it was chill. It was chilly <laughs> in there. And I was like, man, dude, I'm impressed. Okay, I'm now looking and this. I'm going to walk doing- through you right now. And I did it. I'm doing and research I was like, you know what? right now. It wasn't now. that bad. This is yeah, this is real. She did that, and like, there was like, there's, there was so there were they had like an old like East German or like some some uh, Eastern European country like van like 
giving out numbers from like one to like 10,000. So you could hear it throughout the wall. So like when we first walked in, they were like, like 175. And by the time we were coming out, there's like 2,941. You guys, you guys You're like, oh my news. God, can you please shut up? Oh, uh, tell us. Sarah. Breaking, yeah. news, I breaking news from the excited. library, a, a Wikipedia. Now, first of all, Miss Marina is from Serbia and yep. has a war torn country and definition it, of a war torn country. Been around the world and done many extraordinary yeah. things, and I'm very impressed by her. And I, 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 yeah, exactly. I can't find my baby. I don't know when. I don't She's know why. She's a nineties hit. I can drive away. But check this out. Check this out. All right, I'm going to read you this whole paragraph. Everybody, get ready because it's a lot. Do it. Okay, <laughs> Rhythm Ten, 1973, and her first performance in Edinburgh in 1973. Marina explored elements of ritual and gesture, making use of 20 knives and two tape recorders. The artist played the Russian game in which rhythmic knife jabs are aimed between the splayed fingers of one's hand. Each time she cut herself, she would pick up. I'm sorry if I'm blowing out the mic here, Jeremy. Each time she cut herself, she would pick up a new knife from the row of 20 she had set up and record the operation. After cutting herself 20 times, she replayed the tape listened listened to the sounds of herself cutting herself and tried to repeat ah. the same movements attempting to replicate the mistakes merging past and present with this piece she began to consider the state of consciousness and of the performer and she said quote once you enter the performance enter into the performance state you can push your body to do things you absolutely could never normally do Wow. What mm. do we think about that versus the stare the staring contest with the ex-boyfriend? She, the, Maybe, what, know, if, what if the ex-boyfriend was Apple Lance Henriksen from like, Aliens? <laughs> you know, was, because she also did that was the other thing, her walking up and down the stairs on like saws, you know, blades up. That was like a, you know, a ladder to climb up to something. And she would do that. So I guess it makes sense. And she's just you know, I think honestly, I think she's just cheating. This I think is so punk particularly rock. with that, she I just think has she very might callous be punk feet. Rock? She might be more punk than anything we've ever encountered. And also, she has a nonprofit foundation for performance art in a thirty-three thousand square foot space in sunny Hudson, New York. Love well, Hudson. I'm obsessed with her now, and oh. Hudson's fun. You can go antiquing. So oh, let's go find her. And let's talk go to get her. old. Let's yeah, go get let's old. Go now, do you do it. Let's go find her. I'll go find her. I mean, they're not in a stocky way. I don't. Do I feel. It. I feel. I want, do you think I that's recorded like that. somewhere? That, come that, after um, me now. The cu- rhythm ten thing. The cutting like thing. The audio. I'm yeah. One hundred percent right now. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure it is. I, I, I seem to remember seeing something about that as well. Gosh, we should just what? all make the moment do like all this stuff all over have. again. How would you? Well, ask the MoMA. Hey, you know, uh, three of my three of my friends here missed the uh, Marina Abramovich. Oh my God! Uh, you guys, can I please exhibits. tell you can her you artist statement? You're allowed to. You're allowed to tell us. Why not? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so she wrote. She wrote. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am so amped up right now. Okay, this I found this Sarah German site, up. but it's published in English and in German, so I can read it because I can read English. Okay. <laughs> Um, and but no other languages because I am an American. Uh, let's see. Okay, <clears throat> not that you have to be monolingual to be an American. Offensive. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, okay here's what she says preparation i lay a sheet of white imagine a very sexy serbian saying this to you i lay a sheet of white paper on the floor i lay 20 knives of different shapes and sizes on the floor i place two cassette recorders with microphones on the floor okay here's her statement about about the performance i switch on the first cassette recorder i take the knife and plunge it as fast as i can into the flesh between the outstretched fingers of my left hand after each cut i change to a different (laughs) knife once all the knives, Wait, all the rhythms have been used, I rewind the tape. I listen to the recording of the first performance. I concentrate. I repeat the first part of the performance. I pick up the knives in the same sequence, adhere to the same rhythm, and cut myself in the same places! <sighs> in this performance, the mistakes of the past and those of the present are synchronous. Okay, 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 I get that. Like, why don't you just have the same codependent relationship over and over again like some of us do? Like, you don't need to do performance cutting. I guess 
That wasn't enough that for wasn't her. Enough. She said, I am an artist. And this is why <laughs> this is why I am not going to live as a legend of art because I don't have the level of commitment that Marina has. To- I don't have that much blood. Yeah, I don't either. I- I'm not made of blood. Yeah. Yeah, but is that is that commitment or is it just like I'm going to do this thing and then I'm going to think about like this. I feel like sometimes the the mission statement. Yeah, like like is really is just a, a way real to be thing. like, yeah, I'm a cutter. Well, I mean, there was that performance art, but that performance art happened like 50 years ago. That, that was like and this bodily. was in the 70s. And before we had the language we have around like, see, there's a, we didn't have the language around self-harm that we do now, but like. It's also interesting because there is the form of of art. What is it called? Body mortification, like certain like all body mod, body, like yeah. and like mm-hmm. alternative circuses and things like that. Um, and carnivals where people do. We wild went to shit. A, we went to a weird thing when a yeah. girl was hanging from a like. Remember, we went to that thing in oh, Jersey yeah. where the girl was hanging from a, a ring in her back. <laughs> Yeah. We went to a tattoo convention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like yeah. Hanging yeah. from your back. It was an Asbury Park. It was an Asbury Jersey Park. Jersey is like, Asbury yeah. Park in Jersey is like, oh, that's right. is like the place. Yeah. If you want to hang out with some punk weirdos with some tattoos. And I was talking about this with Chris Gethard on a, on a New Jersey is the world podcast. Oh, the Jersey guy. Very a good. Jersey guy. And he has a, a podcast called woe town, New Jersey's world. And it's, it's a bunch of dudes from West orange. And mm. we talked about like, just how different things in the world are Jersey ish. Like wherever I go, I sort of compare it to New Jersey in my mind to kind of find oh, a sense of place. When things are that's it's a, instead of things being that so Raven, you could say that's so Jersey. Oh yeah, like Studio City in uh, the San Fernando Valley is that's that's Montclair to me because it's fancy. It has its oh, slightly course, grungy parts, absolutely. but it's pretty upscale. And then you've got like Burbank. Burbank is 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 at once Wayne, New Jersey, and Pompton Lakes, New Jersey. Like it has all the aspects, and you know a lot of mall culture, right? So I kind of that's how I experience the world. I figure it out Agreed. that way. Like okay, uh, Fort Greene is kind of like Jersey City now. What can I apply this to? Kind of right. like Lambertville, New Jersey, at the same time. God, the and depth the- of Jersey knowledge. Jesus, listen, oh. mm-hmm. you're minding the depths. I oh, normally Lambert? just insult it, wow, but I'm going really, to withhold all those things. I love it. I, I love this. Hey, okay, I know. Good. I know the difference between uh, Morristown and Morristown. County, County, so that's very I'm good. a Bergen well, County kid. When you were children making a television program, did you guys shoot in Cranford? Is that where you shot? Like, or did they shoot like <laughs> exteriors? Yeah, yeah. We shot. We shot the pool. The pool episode was at Cranford. <laughs> Nutley. Because Cran- Cranford, Cranford is beautiful. Le- Leonia, Cranford, South Orange. Closter, the whole, Nutley. The whole third, the whole third mm-hmm. season was It's gorgeous. Cranford. And and that, it is beautiful. Oh, well, I There's remember a, as a kid a in Jersey, that was a big deal it. that like the Adventure to Pete and Pete shot some in, in Cranford. Um, and I wasn't from Cranford. I was from, I'm from Hunterdon County. But like, you know, when you're a little kid, it's such a big deal that like, Notoriety. Yeah, like sure. the idea that uh, a TV show that you watch got filmed in your state is like a big deal when you're from New Jersey and you're mostly like my understanding of sort of acting as a kid in Jersey. I didn't grow up an actor kid, but it was like, you know, if you went to public school in New Jersey during the 80s or 90s, you went to school with some girl who understudied for like Gavroche or fucking <laughs> like. I, they, they beat me. I never got that one. I always <laughs> wanted Gavroche. It was like still super bitter about she didn't get to be fucking young Cosette, that whiny asshole. Like that's. You're, she you know, dies. And it's end up, she ends up dying. It's okay. She gets the flu. Fucking asshole. And it, so that yeah. was. Uh, uh, oh, what a bitch. <laughs> she's so mad for my break they're just wait she's just waiting waiting <laughs> just, i just wanted to make sure look i was that understudy oh but i also yep. i also was lead number yes. two yes. at the paper mill playhouse in milburn did, new jersey I, I did a job at paper mill you i learned that's paper where mill i learned playhouse. the basketball like, game hey, two like, bounce ooh, which okay. was my favorite Favorite Show game me something. Ever. You Two learned bounce. a basketball well, now, game at the Paper Mill Playhouse in Milburn, New Jersey, where one playing, Anne Hathaway with, got her start. <laughs> and you learned playing, basketball uh, there. Playing with the electricians <laughs> backstage. Yeah. That's so yeah. fun. Uh, it's called that. it's called Two Bounce because oh, you shoot the ball <laughs> and wherever it. <laughs> and did not want to play. My nose. Anne said, "Get out of here." Anne didn't. Anne didn't want to play. It was fun. I really liked. Uh, it was far away from me, obviously. It's not your little skipping a jump commute. But. Yeah, that's a schlep. 
I feel like New Jersey. I think that's the definition of a schlep. The NJ metro area, the New Jersey metro area, which includes New York. Um, that's how I think of it. The, the New Jersey metro area includes places that are lucky enough to be close to New Jersey, such as Philadelphia and New York. And I don't acknowledge the state of Connecticut. And I, I Delaware is like a nice place Whatsoever. to drive through. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Uh, you, there's so many actor kids. Mm. I love mm-hmm. it. East, East Stroudsburg hope, would not do New well yep. needs without New, New Jersey. Hope, New East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania us. would be County fucked needs us. without New Jersey. Needs All us. these people are dependent you, on you, us. You, you, not me. Specifically, you. New Jersey is the center of the universe. I like it. <laughs> so are we going to send this portion of the podcast together to be like, hey, spin off? <laughs> You Wait, okay, you get, then you guys have to have a jersey down. You have to have a jersey down. Yeah, but you both said counties, but you didn't say city. No, I, oh, I said White Cough I said I'm from Bergen County. Oh, you did. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So secrets out. Secrets out. White Cough. Yeah, White Cough. White Cough. You know, if you you know you know your town. Name you check. know your town yeah. is made it. That was a good. That was when a good Chunky rap. Pam calls you out in her jersey her jersey rap. <laughs> she says. She says. She says. Wow. Uh, what is it? They, when they whack off. When they whack off to me. I was like, oh, that's good. That's good use of my town. I like that. I uh, am from Flemington, New Jersey, which uh, sounds very funny. To I a took lot of the people. bus there. You did. I took the bus there. The Transbridge bus would stop in Flemington, <laughs> mm-hmm. in Flemington, on the uh-huh. way to Doylestown, PA. Yes, and Doylestown, PA, <laughs> is where the I just wrote. For a couple episodes of Mystery Science Theater 3000 and Doylestown, oh, yeah. PA awesome. is where uh, their production company is headquartered now. And it's got a great theater. Neighbors neighbors of Lansdale. Mm-hmm. It's all those tax credits coming back. Yes. <laughs> to <pay laughs> All on. those. Yeah. Everybody wants free money. Um, I don't know where uh, what I was going to. Uh, which direction I was going to go with that, but you were going to uh, probably talk about Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Ohio, whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. lot of Jersey. He's got to move elsewhere. It's usually Ohio talk because I'm from Ohio, and Jeremy then we have people call have in from Ohio. God, there's Jersey, so much so Buckeye talk. talk. If you would it. like to talk to us about New Jersey, let yeah. us know at three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero. I would That's like it. to talk about uh, spaghetti with chili on top with Jeremy. Oh, thank God. Oh Lord, I've been waiting for this. Okay. Um, Let's talk about it. I don't it. know if Let's there's do anything in New Jersey that would compare to it. Pork um, roll. Pork roll versus disco, Taylor. Disco ham. fries. Disco fries. Yeah. Disco fries, which yeah. are like, yeah. Yeah. Easy. Disco fries, which oh, are like our, our, our poutine. Poutine, basically. yes. This is more of like um, just like, st- you know, pre-diarrhea mm-hmm. is what mm-hmm. uh, uh, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But- uh, what what the the difference, the, the, the New Jersey, wait, hold on, Jeremy. Let me just, I can, I can make this very simple, very easy. You got spaghetti mm-hmm. and chili in fucking Ohio. No. But if you're from Jersey, put some raw onions. you just have spaghetti no, Put some raw onions, some, some oyster, boom, oyster crackers and cheese on that. <laughs> You get you get to Italian. Your chunky meat, uh, you get your red sauce. You just let it go. You, you let that, it go you bad. Can make that a if it's a Fra Diablo, you lead it. You lead it astray. It's like Skyline <laughs> Chili, right? Skyline is one Same of thing. the restaurants. Yeah, that... it's just one of the brands. Yeah, Gold yeah. Star Skyline. I mean, I grew up on it, so it's a. It's I <laughs> eat it every day. Um, but I, when I introduce it to people, it's typically a one and doneer type thing because. They don't talk to you. They don't return your calls. Well, a couple hours afterwards, they're like, "Oh man, what is happening?" And then it's like, "Well." Welcome to Cincinnati, bud. Yeah. Je- Jeremy, I'm uh, I'm calling you from the emergency room. I don't feel so good. Oof. But if you want to take it back to if you want to take it back to pork roll and Taylor Ham real quick. Mm. Uh, Pennsylvania has scrapple. Jersey has pork roll, which is not all pork roll is Taylor Ham, but all Taylor Ham is pork roll. Remember that. Well, because it's true, because all pork roll is not created equal. And Taylor Ham is the... Say yeah, say it. Yeah, you say, you say Taylor Ham or pork roll. But in Ohio, they have this weird they have this weird breakfast meat called, what is it, Guetta? Guetta. Guetta? What you, you showed it to me, Jeremy. You don't eat oh, meat, but... Oh, Guetta. I yeah, have a, Guetta. I have uh-huh, a shirt. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I have a shirt for Geta that says Get a Life that I got when I did a gig in Cincy. It's a sausage of some uh, kind, I'm guessing. Two years ago. Yeah, I, I loved it. I got it for breakfast <laughs> with scrambled eggs. And I was like, this rules. But did it's you try Cincinnati it? sausage grain patties. Wow. It's from like the, t- the when it's they very were. very good. It's very good. Yeah. Like Germans were cold. 
in mm -hmm. the 19th century. Yeah, it's some like cold steel cut Germans oats and like sausage or something. They needed Ohio, to invent something. They just said, what the fuck do we have around here? This is desolate. And Throw it all in the sausage. <laughs> American football hasn't been invented yet and <sighs> we want to die because we have nothing to focus on. Also, we are German and it <laughs> is the 19th century. So they just took like things that maybe they would have fed the pigs and then also they took the pigs uh, and made them dead and then put it all together and were like, this is Geta. Uh, Not David the, Guetta or Geta, the DJ. The DJ? Yeah, I've the DJ. Uh, I wear the Geta Life shirt. Uh, I wear the Geta Life shirt, which is from a, a great um, uh, store called The Wolf Pack okay. that stocks mostly <laughs> local artists from Cincy and, 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 and Ohio. Um, but I was, I was there to do a show with Travis McElroy, who is a great uh, uh, Ohio resident um, uh, of mm -hmm. my brother, my brother and me. And it was super fun. And uh, I was shopping as one does because I'm from New Jersey. And I'm like, how do I self-soothe? Find a mall. I can't find one. Yeah. I'll find an independent shop. And Consume, I got to get right. a life mm -hmm. shirt. And I was like, what is this? What does this mean? And they explained well, it to me and I purchased it. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, it says here on the uh, Wikipedia is along with Cincinnati chili and mock turtle soup. What it is, it is according to Cincinnati food historian uh, Dan Wollert, one of the area's holy trinity of specialties. Wow, <laughs> what get a so get a chili and okay. what else? Holy trinity of specialties, a lot of salt and a lot of carbohydrates. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 Whatever to make we need to be like we need to pat it on over there. You know what I mean? We uh, need to be like yes. resistant to the weather. Mm hmm. I mean, that's all tastes good. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow! I, I think I just heard. I just think I heard my water rower yelling at me instead of a post-it note that I put on. It actually speaks to me. <laughs> you guys, I just oh, found what's in mock turtle soup. You don't eat that shit anyway. it, It's not mock turtles, is uh, it? Well, uh, I'll tell you. No. Once again, it commences with Germans Germans being cold. So Germans were mm -hmm. cold, but actually English people You're, were cold. The creation story. Right. Of, uh, Germans uh, were cold. So this soup is a traditional dish in the lower Saxony areas of Germany, <laughs> uh, where it's considered a specialty of English cuisine. So it's a real Germ <laughs> German-English uh, combo package. Okay, here's what's in it. It was made as an imitation of green turtle soup because I guess in Ohio, turtles were like, go fuck yourself. We're going to Wisconsin yeah, or something. Yeah, so we're leaving. It often yeah. uses brains. Go to Maryland. It uses brains and organ meats such as calf's head Oof. to duplicate the texture and flavor of the original <laughs> turtle meat. This is exactly the same <laughs> thing, just in, in soup form instead of, instead of sausage. Yeah, form, it's right? like horrifying parts, all the worst parts of the Oof. animal. And it's because uh, the green turtles, a lot of the green turtles that you use for turtle soup they had been hunted to extinction by earlier germans and english and probably dutch mm. and spaniards and french mm. oh yes you, you see i thought it was the same guy that took all the snakes out of ireland wasn't it saint peter saint paul saint someone saint patrick. Like, saint patrick. No, saint patrick. patrick that's right saint saint patrick said there's no more need for snakes in Ireland and he then also promptly went to Ohio and said there's no need he replicated the same here. trick in Ohio and drove out right <laughs> just yeah. anti anti amphibian uh, for some reason uh I, t I, I feel sad about mock turtle soup because I had two two turtles I had two soups that were turtles well they were just turtles and they didn't turn them into soup my yeah, dad ran over one on accident because it got <laughs> out of the right way Clark. The uh, it says that Campbell's Clark, once yes. made uh, mock turtle soup, but discontinued it before 1960. Although Andy Warhol said that's before his favorite 1960. Soup. Campbell's, Campbell's soup. Campbell's. We're we're on the game. Turtle. This is a history uh, maybe, podcast. Um, this yeah, is uh, this is an Ohio <laughs> Jeez, food Louise, history podcast. There. You're learning. There. You're learning stuff. Yep. Guys, can I tell you? We can have, I tell you one one quick little tidbit? About yes, brains sir. and and organ meat. <laughs> yes. I was at a, this is just me being a dick, because my friend was a dick, and he was like, "You have to go to the store and buy all this like expensive meat because we're grilling and yada yada." And he was like, "Make sure you get a good piece because I want a good cut." Like he was like really pushing for me to like, I don't know, buy Kobe beef or something expensive, and I was like, "Fuck you!" So I bought dogs, I bought some ground meat, but they had for a dollar nineteen. One giant cow heart that they carved into four pieces. And so I bought it 
And I was like, I'm going to tell him this was like some special meat. And he bought it. That's pretty great. And was like, oh, man, he, he, he literally walked by and was like, I didn't even have to say anything. He's like, whoa, that looks cool. That's I, I want some of that. And I was like, yeah, dude, totally. And uh, I fed it to him and I never told him, but I kept calling him Captain Beefheart for the rest of the, the weekend. <laughs> and he didn't understand the reference, but all my friends did. And it was like one of my greatest moments in life. Because to this day, he still doesn't know that he ate four hat quarters of a uh, cow heart and he thought it was some exquisite meat. So basically, don't go barbecuing with me if you got an attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to send him this episode? I Can should. I should just right, send yeah, him yeah, yeah, we got a yeah, little yeah, update. Yeah. Here's an update yes, for you. Yes. Yes. Remember that whole that Captain Sam. Sam, this is for you, bud. Yeah, Captain Beefheart. Why do you keep calling me that? You. Why is everybody laughing? It's <laughs> funny, Captain Beefheart. Uh, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> well, I feel anyway, like we could. I'm sorry. Could, I, you just, that mock turtle soup really brought it around for me. Oh, yeah. Mock turtle. Uh, I feel like we could talk about animal parts all day. If you're from if you're from Ohio and you're tired of all the slander, let us know at three four seven four seven zero eight one five zero. I mean, yeah. are you tired of, of being worshipped by us on this right. episode? <laughs> Uh, are you are you tired of being cold and cramming yeah. meat into sausages? Yeah, I mean your let ancestors know, three, were four, cold. Seven, four, so seven, we've zero. Lost, Germans. We mm-hmm. we've gained New Jersey followers. We may have. We may have lost and gained the same amount of Ohio people. <laughs> yeah, we're at Serbian equilibrium. We're at equilibrium in Ohio, yeah, no fucked. problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Connecticut, like Connecticut. yeah, Connecticut told us to go fuck off, too. Yep, yep. I'm yep. full on a fan of uh, so, Serbia, <laughs> Ohio, not Connecticut, and definitely New Jersey. Serbia Anti-nutmegger, huh? Mm-hmm. Anti-nutmegger. Yeah, okay. do we need nutmeg so like much? That. Like, it's fine. It's good. But you know, when you... <laughs> When you call yourself the first New England state, mm. shut up and get out of here, Connecticut. Somebody who works yeah. at the Mark so you're part Twain of the tri-state house area. Don't don't try to be so trippy hippie about it. <laughs> Wait. We burned we burned a lot of bridges <laughs> okay. tonight, and we're going to take our time releasing this episode. So <laughs> Three nobody weeks. nobody knows how much. We yeah, made. we ruined a lot of <laughs> lives tonight, but we also we also saved a lot of lives tonight. Yeah, yeah. you know. Sorry. Marina, mm-hmm. well, and Marina's yeah, ex. Well, and look, if you're looking, if you're looking to mess around with one of your friends who thinks he's too cool for school and wants the finer things in life, buy a dollar nineteen cowheart. It works. <sighs> Don't live in proof. Um, How much is that over the oh, okay. <laughs> there? What kind of plugs do you okay. have? Oh, uh, hey. for this you know, be- beautiful episode. You know, your girl has a Patreon, right? Your girl oh. has a Patreon to oh, support sure. the podcast. You've got to. So I've got a podcast called Well, This Isn't Normal. Um, which is available in all the pod places. I've got a uh, newsletter that's free and available to all, but you'll get it in your email box, uh, your email box uh, four times a month. If you subscribe at patreon.com slash Sarah Benicasa, I have four books out that you can purchase. Uh, Agora Fabulous Dispatches from My Bedroom is a memoir. Great is uh, queer teen Gatsby inspired young adult stuff. DC trip is about a wacky trip and some kids going there to the DC on a trip. And then uh, real artists have day jobs is a book of essays. And yeah, I'm on Twitter five, at five, Sarah J. Benicaza and on Instagram at Sarah J. Benicaza as well. Uh, amazing. Go check her out. Download her stuff. Become a patron. That's that's like a say. perfect. That's a perfect plug, Sarah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. Is your DC book inspired by your New Jer- your New Jersey public school system uh, taking you to DC it's, in the eighth it's grade? It's about kids from a high school in Flemington, New Jersey, and their their young teachers. Because I was once a, a young trip. high school teacher, mm. and it's it's very much you? inspired by those trips down to. Uh, down to DC, which every kid oh, on the man. East Coast at some that's... point was supposed to go on. Oh yeah, yeah. That's how I I, I took six yeah. packs of cigarettes yeah. with me. I got my first Jeremy, Zippo yeah. lighter. I got called Danny Eight Ball because of it. That's my my a, my AOL instant messenger name <laughs> came about for my DC trip because some dude walked up to me. Some dude walked up to me with with a he walked up to me with like a, a big long coat on. I was like, hey man, you want to buy a Zippo? And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I do!" Skeleton hand, eight ball. I gonna. I just got AOL. Uh, uh, what am I gonna call myself? 
Danny Eight Ball, <laughs> cut to college. Hey man, you got anything for me? <laughs> no, Danny Eight Ball, it's not. It's not please, coke related. Please stop <laughs> messaging me. <laughs> please stop messaging me. I don't know what this is. I don't want to go skiing. I've never skied. <laughs> Why do you keep talking about keys? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. What, what? is this? Is this I code? I, don't, I know my keys are here. There are no interest in rails. I've only lost my keys a couple times. I only had to break into my car once. <laughs> yeah, rails. What are these rails? <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> speaking of rails, uh, go check out the last podcast network. That's the only network. regret I have in life. The only regret That's I have in my life. Check out the last podcast network, lastpodcastnetwork.com, <laughs> uh, for all your rail needs. Um, actually, they sell weed, I think, there, too, on the last pod. But, you know, that's a whole other thing. They have their own strain. Yeah. Um, also, uh, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash Danny and Mike with the N spelled out. Uh, if you're going to type into a browser. Also, uh, you can find Danny at D Tamborelli on the Twits, at Danny Tamborelli on the Insta, Mike's at Michael C. Morona on the Twitter. I'm at Remy Balin and at J- uh, Jeremy Balin on the Insta, Remy Balin on Twitters or the Twits. Uh, I'm making sure I'm you're following ba- you. I hear an Alfie. What is I'm hearing an Alfie. Uh oh. Alfie alert. It's probably about that oh, time. You hear Alfie? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you see, he's probably finished yep. with dinner. Hey, Alfred. It is about that time. It's Alphonse, right? It's not Alfred. It's Alfred. Uh, he hasn't come through the he hasn't come through the door yet. But he did come in to check on me because he knew that Dada was sad. Uh, so he kept going, Dada sad. And I was like, No, no, I'm fine. I was like giving him the like the Dada cheap, frustrated. No, I'm okay. no. Dada. Even though I think my computer's busted Dada. and I'm gonna lose all of my stuff. And he was like, Dada sad. And I said, Oh, you give me a hug then? <laughs> no. And then he walked out. Like cold he was just blooded. acknowledging. Gotcha. He likes to acknowledge an emotion or acknowledge a situation. Oh, no, car. Boom. Like when he saw the car accident. Mm. And he sees you, Dada sad. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's cool. Exactly. And then he moves on. He's, he's fine with it. He did you feel seen like like that's it. He just needs to know. He's like, it's I've, a lot like Marina. He just wants to see you. Yeah, he looked at. He did. He is. He's like. He did that too. He put his two fingers by his eyes and then pointed them at me. Bad <laughs> boy. It's like, how do you do that, um, Sarah? You're a, you're a damn uh, joy. Well, thank, thank you, you so much, Sarah. Thank you, thank, thank you, you for making this happen. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. This is so much fun. Thank you so much for having me here. Just, I hope just from sliding into your DM seven years ago, trying to get we you to have a Brooklyn meetup, and I gotta get you. We're gonna give. I'm gonna bring everybody a bicentennial <laughs> quarter. We're all gonna meet up. I hope everybody who's listening subscribes and likes, and you know, you. Yes. does all that, buys the things that, and gives the monies, and tells the we friends. Work. Ah, you are the best. Uh-huh. Yes. You have to, we're, all, all guess artists. what? <laughs> That's right. Don't, for, don't forget, listeners. One we day. also have a couple. Oh. oh listeners, 1021. 1021 and 1022. Oh, yeah, we, we got have dates. live shows in, in at too. Littlefield in Brooklyn on yeah. the 21st and Ardmore Music Hall on the oh, 22nd. Oh, my gosh. That's just more, a little over two months yeah. away. So oh, my gosh. make sure get you go tickets. get tickets. Find, find the links. I can't do that. You know, I can't orally give you the links. Oh, but I you forgot can find one more plug. I'm sorry. Yeah, do it. Do I it. forgot that uh, I'm a. I'm, I forgot plug that it away. things happen sometimes. Uh, I am doing uh, October 6th. It's weird, know, me right? Too. October <laughs> yeah. 6th. You got to be masked up and vaxxed up um, at Powerhouse Arena in Brooklyn. I will be in conversation with author Lori Wooliver. Um, and that's October 6th from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, she wrote a book about her longtime boss, Anthony Bourdain, called Bourdain, the Definitive Oral Biography. And I'm going to be interviewing Lori Wooliver on stage about the book. She did 91 interviews with different people who knew and loved uh, Mr. Bourdain. And um, that is Powerhouse Arena, October 6th, 7 to 9 p.m. in Brooklyn. Okay, cool. I didn't know that the Powerhouse Arts is that Gowanus building. That's amazing. We've done I, it. I'm glad that it it's open and it's doing stuff. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Unless we have to go so virtual. Much. Oh, you're welcome. Well, that's true, yes. <laughs> we yes, might have yes. to go virtual. Last thing I have to say is... Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, wear a mask. Come on. Be good. Wear a mask. Get vaccinated Get so you don't yes. have to go virtual. Folks, let's get vaccinated, please. please. Let's, let's hang out. Let's have some drinks. Let's uh, have fun and act like we're uh, living a life that we all love again. Uh, maybe that got dark a little bit no, there, I but, uh, it. it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the positivity. Remember from the beginning trying to do it. See, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Full uh, circle. here we, we are. 
Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I like it. Well, I someone like from it. Ohio, mm -hmm. a person from Ohio made it dark at the end, but that's okay. That's okay. It's uh, it's uh, chili, you eat chili so much chili, uh, you know, year after year, and it just they like eats your insides. You know, behind <laughs> my eyes is just like Cincinnati chili, uh, just the dead look of a Cincinnati All chili. I have you ever seen the Cincinnati? Have you ever seen those Cincinnati chili packets that they come That's in? coming the, with your coin. I'm like giving. I'm bringing death. you a packet. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. This, this is, is wonderful. So nice. Thanks, Sarah. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Marona. The show is produced by me, Jeremy Baylor. This podcast is part of the Last Podcast Network, which can be found at lastpodcastnetwork.com. Make sure to check that out for a ton of great shows. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also look us up on Twitter at Danny and Mike with the N spelled out and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening. This show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors. You can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.